it's the IT guys here. Welcome back. Today we're starting our set of tutorials on Microsoft Word 2013. So, when you first open Word, this is the screen that you'll be presented with. You'll have your recent documents here. You'll be able to choose one of them to open. You'll be able to open a different document on your computer. Or you can start a new document, which is what we're going to be doing today. You can open a blank document. Or choose one of the presets for you. There are many to choose from, but today we're going to be opening a blank document. So hover over where it says blank document and click on it. To save the document, you have three options. You can come up to the top left hand corner and click the little floppy disk to save. You can use the keyboard shortcut Control S and that'll take you to the save window. Or you can click File, then come down to Save or Save As, and that will let you save your document. Select your location, give it a name, and then save it. To print your document, hold down Control and press P, and that will be the keyboard shortcut to take you to this print menu. Or click File, and come down to Print. Set your preferences, and then click Print. So I have now typed some text into Word, so we're now going to have a look at how we can format this text to make it look better. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at bold, italic and underline. To make the text bold, go to bold in the home tab and click it. You can also use the keyboard shortcut to control B and that will make it bold. To make the text italic, then you can click italics up here, or you can use the keyboard shortcut Control I, and it will be made italics. To underline the text, come up to here, and you'll have a series of options of how you want the text to be underlined. Let's go with the standard, or you can click Control U, and it will underline it. Change the size of the text, highlight the text, come up to here, and either select your size or use these two buttons to increase or decrease the size of your text. To change the font, come over to here and pick your chosen font. I am going to go with Bell and T. To change the colour of your text, come to here, click this drop down option, and then you can choose colours. If you don't want any of these colours, and these are chosen by theme, which will be covered in a later tutorial, then you can click more colours. And here you'll be able to choose from a large palette or define your own. I'm going to go for a red, like this. That's all we're going to show you in this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and leave a comment. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.